I've said the devil's name three times. So, <laughs> fun one night. <laughs> so it's very appropriate. We've come to see this uh, spooky fungi on such a uh, dark and stormy day. We know it as the devil's fingers because the bright red colour um, and tentacle shapes look like the devil's fingers are reaching out from the ground, bursting from below the surface. Okay, so uh, this is the bed where we found almost all of the clathras so far. So it's a big bamboo bed and underneath it all there are dozens and dozens of clathras coming up. Um, so here we've got loads of these clusters of eggs. So these are the immature fruits that are going to start to hatch. So these egg-like structures are only called eggs because they kind of look like them. The maturing fruiting body is inside of them. The egg helps to protect those structures while they're developing and while the spores uh, are still maturing. And then as they kind of mature, they'll burst open to show this gooey, gray, slimy interior. A little bit further back, you've got some that are halfway out and just emerging. Um, they look really cute. And then here at the front, this is an example of what they're like when they emerge. This sort of splaying red foul octopus that's on the compost. So, and then it's, this is the gleba that's starting to dry up here. That's been attracting all the bugs to go and spread the spores around. These fungi are saprotrophs, so they decay dead organic material. These fungi in particular love to eat wood chips. But you've got some eggs here that are still yet to open up. And you can see these kind of white stringy parts growing off of them. Those are the rhizomorphs. With these uh, stinkhorn fungi, the group of these fungi uh, produce special types of mycelium called rhizomorphs. So they look like thicker kind of roots, white roots that spread across the uh, wood chip. And that's, those essentially act like um, bigger transport systems. It allows them to transport more nutrients across the mycelium so they can essentially spread uh, further and wider. You can see the mycelium on the underside, it's quite thick. Um, and these are the, the rhizomorphs here that spread through the compost. 